sniper known as Quiet is lurking in the Afghan wilderness. This Quiet has performed a string of hits on Soviet officers. The attacks always occur in the same area. But sweeps of the area turn up no traces whatsoever. They've even posted guards, but they never spot a thing. And then before you know it, another body's lying on the ground. You ever heard of someone who operates like that? No matter how still and silent a person tries to be, they always create some kind of ripple. Be it breathing, a heartbeat, eating, excreting, body temperature, sweat. If this sniper can really vanish completely, that's just not human. I guess quiet is the right name. But what is quiet's objective? The local guerrillas wouldn't use this kind of tactic. I just can't see them hiring some superhuman mercenary. And the Soviet officers who've been killed, well, they were all opposed to or skeptical of the secret weapons development being conducted in the area. Sure, they were a problem for those supporting it, but the Soviets have nothing to gain by killing them. So we have an assassin with superhuman combat skills who isn't working for the guerrillas or the Soviets. Miller has a theory that this sniper is a hitman for Cypher. He thinks it's time we silence quiet for good. But I'm against the lethal treatment. I say we bring the sniper back alive and break that silence. Because even if this quiet doesn't say a word, there's still plenty we can learn. Just remember this, boss. If our hunch is right, you'll be on this sniper's hit list, too. If things seem a little too... quiet when you're in the field, watch out. Quiet's out there somewhere. And if possible, this is one sniper I want back here breathing. When Quiet first came here, she demonstrated her marksmanship against that enemy fighter plane. It showed she was much more than your everyday crack shot. Hitting a moving target from 600 meters is a challenge, but it's possible with the right training and equipment. But shooting down that missile, that's a world apart from taking out a soldier on patrol. The chopper and the missile were in motion, meaning different vectors at high velocity in three-dimensional space, and she shot an unguided bullet that had to fight air resistance and gravity. All that, while the chopper was taking evasive maneuvers. Some of the best target leading I've ever known. She has a superhuman sense of spatial awareness. You put her in a fighter jet, and she'd be an ace right off the bat. Hell, your judgment was top class too. Realizing she could take out that pilot, that's quick thinking. You and Quiet could make a hell of a team. You'd be damn near unstoppable. Quiet is still in her cell. Only a few staff are authorized to go near her. She hasn't tried anything funny, but that's what bothers me most. In particular, what does she have to gain by coming to Mother Base? I first thought she was under orders from Cypher to take you out. She didn't manage it in Afghanistan, so round two happens here. So I lighten the guard, and that lock on her door is a joke. You gave her an opening, and? Well, she hasn't killed you yet. And I hate to say it, but she's had plenty of chances. You made me the bait. Poisonous bait. What better? Anyway, she didn't bite. Quiet is keeping her silence. So I'm left with no idea again what she's doing here. We tried communicating with her through writing. That didn't work either. Whether she's illiterate, dyslexic, or just plain stubborn, she won't cooperate. I just don't get it. If she tried to contact the outside, it'd be picked up by our counterintelligence net. But it's clean. There's no sign she's had contact with the staff base facilities, nothing. She's almost got the men wanting her to try something, just to find out what she's up to. And she's in there putting on the failed soldier look, all downcast eyes and defeated sighs. But she doesn't kill herself. She can't be trying to leave Cypher and surrender to us. <laughs> so what's the verdict? This may sound optimistic, but here's how I see it. Quiet came here to fulfill some objective. To kill you, maybe to destroy Diamond Dogs. Whatever it was, before she could do it, something changed her mind. Yes. When I look at her, I sense hesitation. You think she'd betray Cypher? Can't say for sure. I prefer the ones that talk. Anyway, we'll keep her under watch. And we're also looking into those special abilities of hers. You'll be the first to know if something comes up. Why not look in on her yourself once in a while? Right.
Boss, Clyde still hasn't made any moves. It's got me thinking. What? If you took her on a mission, she might break her silence. You want to let her out? Sure. Make her no different to the others. Everyone you pick up works for themselves, right? But her... I say work with her. See what happens. I wouldn't ask this of anyone but you. On missions, I'll make sure we have someone observing from a distance, and she won't be allowed access to all of the base. As for Miller... Well, sometimes it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. The best part is, hiding is her specialty. If no one sees her leave the base, the staff will be none the wiser. And if she gets away? If that happens... You'll have to take care of her. But I have faith in you, boss. I think Quiet sees something in you. It's a big risk. But it's for the good of all of us. And besides, you can't deny her talent. Her unique skills and abilities would give you a hell of an edge out there. I'll think it over. How long are we gonna keep that woman here? What, you mean quiet? My personal feelings aside, she's putting everybody on edge. You should hear the stories. I got sick from just standing guard at her cell. I won't stand on the same platform as that witch. She hit me for no reason. What is this, a private army or a kindergarten? The thing is, they're all serious. They're faced with something they don't understand, and a kind of mass hysteria has broken out. I've gotten wind of countless plots to take her out. There are no grounds for this suspicion whatsoever. Put yourself in her shoes, assuming they see her as a prisoner here. No, even more so, if they do, she deserves to be treated humanely. I always thought our men were a bit more noble-minded, but... Look, I understand this is a stressful line of work, but to make her the scapegoat? You've got it wrong. Quiet? She's with Cypher. We have men that lost their buddies to her organization. But you could say that about more than just her. Plenty of the men used to fight for another side. But they've all put that aside to work for the boss. Cypher is different. And if you ask me, the boss is the biggest problem. Why is he protecting her? Some of the guys are starting to suspect him of... I don't agree with keeping her here either. So what's your move? Throw her out? Kill her? <sighs> She's our ticket to Cypher. And her physical abilities are outstanding. We could use someone like her. Don't make me sick. Her marksmanship, speed, stealth capabilities for a start. Then, there are the other things we've learned. Quiet appears to be able to use both eyes as master eyes simultaneously. That lets her track targets of different focal lengths at once. While looking through the scope with one eye, she can look for new targets with the other. That's why she doesn't need a spotter. She can operate alone, no matter the circumstances. See, I told you she's a freak. No one would be able to control her. No, there's one person who could. Hey, you trying to get the boss killed? Well, why don't we talk to him? Hmm? See if he's willing to take her along. I don't like this. It's his decision to make. The two of them might even make a good team. <sighs> Where is she? You mean quiet? In her cell, of course. Why did you send her out with the boss on that mission? She proved herself well enough, didn't she? The boss sure knows talent when he sees it. That woman will never be one of us. She's targeting him. Don't forget, we do owe her one. What's that supposed to mean? Remember what happened when she first got here? She shot down the aircraft Cypher sent after us. Not only that, she hit the cockpit. Who else could have done that? We're talking about a fighter jet traveling at mock speed. What's your point? She hadn't been there. The boss's chopper would be at the bottom of the ocean right now. Or, it would have been followed right back to Mother Base. So let's say she does have some elaborate scheme in the works. If you want to catch her in the act, all we can do is sit back and wait. On the other hand, if she swears allegiance to the boss like our other Fulton recruits, he couldn't ask for a better partner. Oh, she's got you fooled. I have eyes on her. If she tries anything, she'll regret it. We lose nothing either way. Boss, we've gone over the prisoner transport log you found. Quiet was grabbed by the Soviets and moved to Lamar Hate Palace. They lost a lot of men to her. 
Can't blame them for wanting payback. But why did she just let herself get captured? I think it is time you knew. Quiet was carrying vocal cord parasites. The English strain, to be precise. The third English pair. Skullface was using her as a vector. An ace in the hole if his assassination plan failed. I knew it, but... Quiet chose not to speak. She told me the situation in Diné, Navajo. The only language to which the parasites do not react. If you found out, she could not remain among you. And yet, she refused the Volbachia treatment. Why? Because part of her still wanted revenge against you. Revenge against the boss? In order to stay here, she took a vow of eternal silence. But then, that sudden mutation showed this was not enough. As long as the parasites were inside her, she could not predict what might happen. And that's why she took off? Sacrificing herself to make sure the English strain died with her? Maybe. Or maybe she only wants to infect the world. Whatever her plan, we can't let her go free. The vocal cord parasites are the last of Skullface's legacy. It's up to us to erase it. Boss, the targets are quiet and the English strain she's carrying. Your objective is to extract her. But if worst comes to worst, she may have to be eliminated. Both her and the parasites. We don't know for sure what Quiet's up to, but we need to secure her ASAP. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there. I did not choose to be quiet. I wanted to express my feelings to you. If only we shared a common tongue. Vengeance was what drove me to them. The only language left to me, revenge. But the words we shared, no, that was no language at all. That is why I chose the language of gratitude instead and go back to silence. I am quiet. I am the absence of words. 